Hi, I'm Deidre Jordan, and I'm with CatamaranSite.com, a great website where you can buy or sell a boat, as well as access a bunch of resources like these videos, where we interview actual owners of catamarans and get their perspective on the boat. So today we're meeting with Sean, uh, and he's an uh, owner of an Admiral 40. Welcome, Sean. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you, Deidre. How are you? Very good. Just start sure. by um, telling us a little bit about yourself and your, bo your boat, Dora's Dream. Well, uh, we, my wife and myself, we live in Cozumel. Uh, we've owned a business here for 10 years, and we sold one of our businesses, and our dream was to uh, buy a catamaran. We traveled all over for about almost six, no, actually about a year to 18 months looking for a boat. We found um, Dora's Dream, Dream, and it's a it's a beautiful, good quality sailing vessel that we bought in Bocas del Toro in northern um, Panama about a, about 14 months ago. Great. Now, why did you choose an Admiral 40? It's sleek and it's different. Those are the two things that we wanted. We wanted something out. I've lived in the Caribbean for 28 years, and we tend to see all the same catamarans around. Uh, when we saw that boat, we said, that's the one we need. It was just a different looking boat. It didn't look like it was uh, from a charter fleet and what have you. It was just a really good sailing catamaran. And when, when we pulled in to a uh, port or when we pulled in and dropped anchor, dropped the hook, we wanted something different. And that was perfect for us. We just loved it. And the interior, brilliant. It's perfect for two people and three dogs. <laughs> I was wondering if there was a dog story in there, just from uh, looking at the name in the pictures. Um, so what do you, what's your favorite part about her? You said she's sleek and different, but if you had to pick one thing, what do you like best? For us, it's like a floating uh, condominium with the best view, to be honest. Uh, we got stuck in Panama for four months during COVID. And uh, we were on our way to Jamaica to come back up to Cozumel and to pick up the dogs and what have you. And we found out Jamaica was closed. So we turned back to Panama. We found out Panama was closed and we were stuck there in the Marina on the boat for four months. So we really got to know the boat outside of just sailing, but just the intricacies of the actual boat itself. We did a lot of uh, fixing up as well, like painting and the aesthetic appearance, what have you. But what we liked the most was that owner suite on the starboard side, it was just brilliant. It was big bathroom. It's like we didn't leave our house. It was something better than actually our house. We enjoyed that big bathroom, uh, king size beds everywhere, lots of deck space. Excellent, excellent boat. So plenty of space, comfortable for. Was it mainly just the two of you? Said plus three dogs. Yes, that's correct. Okay, all right. Um, well, if you could change anything about her, what would it be? I was thinking that um, one thing that we wanted to do uh, was to change the, and it's odd because the configuration's perfect for us. It's the main table in the lounge in the salon is a little bit big for us. And so we would have brought that down a little bit, but that's it, nothing else, to be honest. Everything was perfect. We might've, because we don't have a lot of company and we weren't anticipating a lot of company, maybe turned the uh, guest bedroom forward on the port side into an office or even a sewing room. Uh, but other than that, everything was great. The great thing about the Admiral is it's open concept. So mm -hmm. on both sides are open and you can look down into either the owner suite or the other side, the port side, to guest rooms. Um, that's what we liked the most about it. We didn't like that. We looked at all the other ones and it was so boxy when you went down into the actual mm -hmm. um, uh, port or starboard side cabins and felt like you were almost trapped. On the Admiral, right. you're not trapped. It's open concept, and we love that. Right. That was the number one selling point that we mm -hmm. found. And that open concept does it bring a lot more light into uh, while you're in in the galley or and in, in the state rooms as well. Yes, and uh, while you're in the state rooms and in the uh, hallways and uh, the galley um, is excellent. It's it's actually got more space than most uh, kitchens in the real world in a house. I mean, it's open, it's there. It's so, uh, we just love the configuration of it. And in yeah. fact, there's so much light, we actually got new um, uh, covers uh, for both sides because during COVID we tended to want to sleep in than to be woken up at six in the morning, 6.30. 
when we're stuck in the um, in Shelter right. Bay Marina. So it was perfect. We got those made and those come with the boat. We got really well done. Good. All right, well, it sounds like layout is key and definitely a, a pro of this boat. Let's talk a little bit about her actually sailing performance. So what type of sailing or cruising location um, is the model perfect for? We found obviously catamarans, you can get in and out of pretty much any area, um, open area other than marinas. Marinas, I'm a, I was new with the catamarans. I've got a lot of monohulls, so it took me some time to, for the maneuverability. But I found after a while, it was so much easier than a monohull because it's just, I mean, it's like a, a go-kart. It's so much easier. Um, once you get over that kind of um, initial phase of doing it two or three times, then it's so much easier. Now we were up in Bocas. In Bocas, you've got a lot of uh, areas that are very shallow that are uh, unmarked. So you have always have somebody up on the bow, but we found no problem whatsoever. So in those areas was perfect. Having said that, once we went down to uh, Cologne or over to Linton Bay, which is our other ports in uh, Panama, we were in open ocean. So we were up to three to four, which we shouldn't have been, but we kind of needed to at that particular time, three to four meter waves. And it wasn't pleasant, don't, it wasn't exactly, <laughs> you weren't on the Queen Mary by any means, but it was, we were still sailing and we were still sailing hard and it was relatively comfortable. Other than my wife being knocked out for a day or two from seasickness, mm -hmm. I was single-handed it. And when we were going up to Jamaica, we turned back, we were in three and a half, four meter waves and it held on very, very well. Uh, very pleased with it. I would not have wanted to be on a lot of the other catamarans that were parked beside us or docked beside us in the marina. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. so, so both flat, tender, everything was pretty much, it worked exactly how I expected and wanted it to. That's why we purchased it. So you said you owned monoholes previously. So I'm curious, um, what do you prefer, a monohull or a catamaran now that you've had both? Catamaran, never go back. Why? Never go back. What's the it's main just selling so point? So much more space. It's so much yeah. easier. It's so much more space. It's like um, monohull. There's always discussions with the old salty ones at the piers and what have you over the years, and you see it on the internet and what have you. But uh, for comfort at this stage of my life, comfort and um, and sailing, it's just there's not a lot of difference when it comes to sailing, other than um, everything's not leaning or listing on the catamaran, it's so comfortable. You're sitting up on the bow and uh, you see hawksbill turtles uh, with heads the size of basketballs. And that's the only thing you really have to get up to, uh, for to avoid them. Uh, I mean, it's just, right. it's a fantastic experience. Right. And so you don't feel you had to compromise sailing performance with the catamaran? Zero. For me, uh, zero. Others might argue with that, but for me Bonus. and this particular, the Admiral, uh, my wife and myself are going to go and buy another Admiral in five or six years time. Business, because of COVID, our plans have changed and we had to um, sell Dora's dream and we'll, we'll obviously get another Admiral in a couple of years. We love it. There's Good. no reason why we wouldn't. So let's go back to your story about sailing in three to four meter waves. So just describe a little bit more what she was like to handle and sail in that type of weather. Um, some of the waves were coming over the bow. Uh, we were heading, um, we went uh, from Cologne, anybody familiar, head to the right, starboard straight through. Once you get past the uh, Panama Canal and the 80 ships that are going 25 miles an hour or doctorate right in front of you, we left in the middle of the night um, and we went straight into the wind or straight into the wind trying to, uh, that wind is usually coming up from uh, Panama. So we went straight in, motored for about uh, eight to 12 hours and then headed over on a beam. And um, it was pretty good. I mean, it was, it was rolling, it was rocking and rolling. It wasn't comfortable, but under the conditions, I would not have wanted to be on any other type of catamaran or certainly not on monohull. Right. We were going up and down. We didn't, uh, the bow didn't go into the waves whatsoever. It's a true sailing. It's very sleek. And that's what I like. It's not boxy. It's not a cork in the water with a stick on the top. It's like a birth, you know, this is not a birth. You're not floating in a cork here. Um, I worked on cruise ships for 17 years. And, um, and I remember being in 30, 40 foot seas. 
this was actually a lot more comfortable because you've got the air blowing. You've got, we were sitting on the back deck um, and quite enjoying ourselves after the first day or so for my wife, you especially. Felt, you never felt that your safety was compromised? No, no. And if I did, um, I would have uh, got rid of Dory's dream a lot sooner because that's the number one concern that everybody should be looking at, especially a lot of people that are new um, purchasing catamarans. Safety should be the number one issue instead of comfort and trying to make it look like a house and a cute name and uh, going to, uh, you know, a home sense and uh, buying all the uh, stuff that matches it's safety first. And that's one thing we did before we took off when we bought it was we got a brand new uh, high field. Uh, we, everything is there we go. That's our security. We got everything brand new uh, and everything uh, sorted out with safety. So everything Good. was updated and we're set with the life wraps and everything else. How does she sail in light winds? Light winds, we took her um, up to the Changres River where um, Blackbeard took um, Panama. And uh, we took her down there. It was about a, a day sail in wow. seven, eight knot winds. So we were doing five to six which was great because it's yeah. so light in the water. I mean, it's yeah. just unbelievably light in the water. And then we went into the Chagres River and went all about two kilometers up the Chagres River on motor um, through the jungle. And easy, we, uh, we anchored up there for two nights and uh, it's fantastic experience. So in light winds, the average we were doing in three, two to three meter uh, waves, we were doing five to six average, six and a half because we were going down those uh, waves and back up and what have you. But on average, on a good light day, between five and six and a half. So we were making good time. It's an, like I said, it's very, very good sailing, proper sailing. Good. All right, well, before we wrap up, Sean, is there anything else you'd like to add or share um, for those considering uh, buying Dora's Dream? Well, if you just want something different, if you want something that actually sails, um, I used to be a hotel manager and we spent those four months making it look like a hotel. It's in impeccable shape. Um, in fact, we just took every, there's a ton of storage space. And with, as we were getting Dora's Dream ready for our experience, we took down about 18 big suitcases full of stuff. It wasn't heavy stuff stuff, but it was just our stuff. Other than my books, and I've got a pretty much a whole library that I had to kind of divvy up on both sides, which my wife hated. This is a fantastic home that happens to be an excellent sailing vessel. And we looked at those 27 boats before, and this is the one that we chose simply based on those characteristics. It's safe, it can sell, I sail, and it truly is um, somebody's home. And that open concept, the kitchen, we wanted to, and we will in the future, visit all those ports and test out the culinary experiences in St. Lucia, Grenada, all these, the Spice Islands, all these wonderful places that I've lived all these years. And that's what our experience was, and that's why we purchased it. So send, as somebody looking in the future, that's definitely something that um, would interest them. Well, thank you for sharing, Sean. Uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, today's review of the Admiral 40 and specifically featuring Doris Dream.